Today, I'm going to show you how to colorize in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, we're going to show you a great feature within Photoshop. It's called Colorize. Now, it's nested within the Hue Saturation Adjustment layer. And basically, what it'll do is it'll turn any color you have into a single color. So in today's episode, we're going to show you how to take the hair of our subject, which is it's a pink hair, she's wearing a wig, and we're going to change it to different colors. And then we're going to be using layer masks to give it a nice gradient effect to make it actually look like it fades from one color to another. You can use these techniques to colorize any object in Photoshop. We got a great episode, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so here's our image for today. Now, I want to colorize our subject's hair, and we're going to do her eye makeup as well to kind of like mimic what's going on here in her hair. So the first thing I need to do is get a selection of this color. So what we're going to do on our background layer, I'm going to go to Select and down to Color Range. So we're going to select this color range. Now. I have my little eyedropper tool here. I'm going to click on our hair. And then we have a slider here for fuzziness. So we can bring this up or down, and it's going to select more and less based on how much fuzziness we have. OK. Now, in this case, let's say we bring it right up to about there, which does select a decent bit of the hair. But you can also see it's starting to select some of the eyes and some of the background as well. OK. So this is pretty normal, because there's the hair colors, you know, we saw that already there is some pink in the eyes as well. And it looks like there's some pink in the background. So it's going to select out some of that stuff. Not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and hit OK here. There we go. And then we're going to load this selection as a layer mask. And in this case, we're, we're going to colorize. So we want to use a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's go up here to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to hue saturation. Now, because, let's hit OK there, because I had that selection active, it loads that selection automatically as a layer mask. OK, now our layer mask looks great, but we do need to refine it just a little bit because, again, remember it selected part of the face and part of the background. We're going to go ahead and show you guys how to use a brush tool set to overlay mode to really do a great job refining the edges of a layer mask. All right, so now it's time to edit our layer mask. Now, a quick tip for you guys, if you hold Alt or Option and click on your layer mask, it basically shows you what your layer mask looks like on your actual image. Hold Alt or Option and click on it to get it back to where it was. Now, let's click here. And what I want to do is make sure the hair is white and the rest of my subject is black, because we don't want this colorized layer to be visible on the rest of the area. So here's a great tip. We're going to use our brush tool. Hit B for the brush tool. Now, if you see, if I paint white on my brush tool, with my brush tool right now in, in regular normal mode here, and I paint white, it's just going to cover everything. All right, This is just a regular normal brush. Now, if I change our layer, sorry, the brush blend mode from normal down to overlay, there we go. What it's going to do is it's going to lighten up all the areas that are already light. But you can see, if I, as I paint over these black areas, nothing happens. And that's because it's only going to lighten areas that are already light. So this is a really nice, easy way to actually refine the edge of a selection. So in this case, you can see I'm painting white right over here on the edges. Now, when it comes time to make this area darker, all I have to do is paint with black. So I'm going to hit my little uh, arrow here, or you can hit X on your keyboard. And now we can paint here on our background. And you're going to see the brush will just naturally stop at the edge of the hair because we're using our overlay blend mode. OK, so it's not going to affect the light areas, it's only going to affect the dark areas. So again, if you're painting with white, it'll just affect the light areas. If you're painting with black, it'll just affect the dark areas. Now, in some of these cases, like this, I want to paint that black. So I'm going to paint over it. You can see, didn't get it all. Just click again and again and again. You basically just have to do this more and more and more times. But the whole idea with this set to overlay is that it's only going to affect pixels or colors that are similar to where you're actually painting. So again, just a really quick tip, a great way to edit a layer mask. OK, now in this case, we do have some like black here and over here as well. So let's go ahead and switch back to white. And now I'm going to change my layer or the brush blend mode. We're going to change it back to normal 
and I'm gonna use a smaller brush and just be a little bit more careful when I paint. You know, I don't wanna do something like that because that's gonna destroy our layer mask, right? So we're just gonna choose a smaller brush here and just make sure we're painting just in these areas there. All right, and we'll do the same right over here. And a little bit of feathering over here is okay. We're gonna load our, uh, we're gonna work on our layer mask a little bit more when it comes to working with our color eyes. Okay, so now our layer mask looks great. Let's hold Alt or Option and click here on our layer mask again, and we're ready to go. So again, make sure you've got your layer mask set to basically cover just the area you actually want to colorize. Okay, now let's jump in and show you how to colorize. So with our layer mask in place, let's go ahead and click here on our hue saturation icon, which brings up our property window. Okay, and now we're gonna click on our colorize button. So again, what colorize will do is it will turn any color into any other color. Now we have control over hue, saturation, and lightness. So let's go ahead and bring up our saturation so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, and you can see we have this nice pink color. Now, as I click and drag my slider from the right to the left, you can see we're basically colorizing to any color we want. All right, and the hair for the most part looks really good. The selection looks really good. Now, in this case, we do have some area here, okay, where the layer mask doesn't actually cover, right? So what we're gonna do before we get into doing all our colorizing, let's go ahead and make sure our layer mask actually looks how we want it. So for this, I'm gonna grab our brush tool. Let's hit B for the brush tool. Okay, we're gonna paint with a normal blending mode on our brush, and I'm just gonna paint with a soft edge brush right over here, there we go, to make sure we're actually covering up this area. Now, here's a quick tip. So in this case, you can see I am painting over top of the hair, okay, and that, that's pretty obvious, right? Like, <laughs> okay, paint over the area you want to color, but colors tend to bounce around in an image. So, for instance, if there was some blue here, in the hair, let's just turn this layer off and you can see there's actually a lot of pink right around the edges of our skin. And that's because if this is pink here, the colors are gonna bounce back and forth between the face and the hair. So in this case, if the hair is going to be blue, we don't want this to be pink right here, we'd want it to be blue. So what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna choose a large soft edge brush, okay? So let's go ahead and right click, we can choose our size, we'll go ahead and bring that up, there we go. That looks pretty good. And our hardness, we're gonna bring down to zero. Okay, now here I wanna choose my flow. We're gonna change this down to 10%, because right now it's just gonna make everything visible, right? So I wanna bring my flow down to 10%, and that's just going to allow me to paint a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna hit Shift-1 to bring our flow down to 10%, or you can simply click here and drag this left or right. Okay, or you can click up there and type in 10. Any, anything that works for you. Okay. So now our flow of 10, it's going to allow me to just put a little bit of color right there on our subject's face. Okay, so I'm just kind of painting on the edge there with a large soft edge brush. And what it's doing is it's gonna bring a little bit of that blue into the cheeks of our subject. And if you paint too much, not a big deal. Just hit paint with black and it's gonna paint it away. All right, so there you can see we've colored the hair, but we've got a little bit of the blue kind of coming in and coloring the skin as well. And that's just because when you have color here, it's gonna kind of bounce around the image a little bit. Okay, great. So now our layer masks look great. Let's go ahead and show you how to colorize the hair and we're gonna do it in a couple of different steps. All right, so we've got our layer mask set into place. We've got our hue saturation adjustment layer and we're set to colorize, which again, we can color this to any color we want. Now in this case, I actually wanna color the hair underneath this little flip here, a different color from the top, so we can kind of get it to look like it's fading. Now, you might want to click here and then just paint black on your layer mask right over here and say, okay, that did it. But the problem here is, remember, we spent all that time creating this really nice layer mask, and I don't want to actually destroy this layer mask. So here's a quick tip. You can actually use two layer masks on a single layer, and you do it by grouping a layer with itself. So in this case, we're gonna hit Control or Command G to group this layer with itself, and then I'm gonna click on a layer mask for the group. So anything that I do with the layer mask here on the group is going to affect what's going on here in this layer. Okay, so now the layer mask on the group, we're gonna use our black paintbrush, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint black. There we go, right around this edge. It kinda looks like cotton candy. It's a pretty cool effect here. 
All right, so we're going to paint black on our layer mask right up there and just make sure that our hair kind of fades from this nice pink to that blue. All right. Yeah, that looks really cool there. Okay, so the reason I did that again is because now this layer mask here for the group basically is just telling this uh, color eyes to not be visible up top there. Okay, so that's what this is doing. The layer mask for my colorized layer is still exactly uh, in place. Okay, we haven't edited the layer mask for this. And that's really helpful because now I'm gonna actually do this again. Let's go ahead and duplicate this entire group. So I'm gonna click on the group and I'm gonna drag it to the new layer icon. Here we have group one copy. Okay, and now what I wanna do, let's go ahead and fill this layer mask with white. So I'm gonna click on my layer mask. We're gonna go to edit down to fill, and we're gonna go ahead and fill this with white. There we go. So you can see, basically we have the same adjustment, right? We have a hue saturation layer set to colorize, okay? And now we have one of these layers is only affecting the bottom, right? And then one of these layers is affecting everything. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of my hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's double click here. And I'm gonna click and drag this instead of going like blue, we're gonna change it to like a nice light. Let's try something like that. Now on this layer mask, we're just gonna fill this with black temporarily because I want it to be invisible. So I'm gonna go to edit and down to fill and we're gonna fill this with black. Okay, so let's make our underlying layer visible and then I can paint with my brush tool here on this layer just where we want it to be visible. And I think like a little bit of this color right up here at the top kind of looks cool. All right, and I'm just choosing a large soft edge brush to kind of like fade that in. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this color. I'm gonna click on my hue saturation adjustment layer, click here on my properties, and we're just gonna edit our hue just a little bit to the left there. Cool, so a nice subtle gradient on the top of the hair as well. All right, pretty cool, so that's the idea with colorize. Basically load a hue saturation adjustment layer, click on that colorize button, and then you can change one color to any color. And again, we used two layer masks on a single layer by grouping that layer with itself. That way we have our perfect layer mask of just the hair, and then we have a new way to define, okay, but I only want it to be visible in this part of the hair. All right, so let's take those same concepts and now, and we're gonna do the same thing with her eye makeup. Okay, to start off, I wanna get this blue color here to be mirrored here in the eye makeup. So the eye makeup looks basically like the hair. So let's go ahead and find our layer here. This is our hue saturation adjustment layer set to colorize. Okay, that's giving us the blue color. Now, in this case, what we're gonna do is duplicate this hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's click and drag it to the new layer icon. There we go. And we're gonna bring this all the way up to the very top. We don't need this to be inside of the group because the group is telling it to only be visible right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this all the way up. I'm just gonna click and drag it all the way up to the very top. You can see it's gonna make everything visible now. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is click on our layer mask and we're gonna fill it with black. So let's go to edit, down to fill, and over to black and hit okay. Great. And now, basically, I'm just gonna use my brush tool to paint white here on the edge of the eye. And we're using a large soft edge brush here. There we go. Just adding that color in to this side, and then we'll do the same thing on this side, using a large soft edge brush. Now, in this case, the brush that we're using here, you can see it's, it's gonna put a little bit of color like below the lid. Let's just turn this off and on, okay? You can see it is coloring below the lid as well and a little bit up there as well. So if we want it to disappear, simply paint black with your brush tool, okay? Using a large soft edge brush here. And then we're gonna choose a smaller brush. We're gonna right click and just bring our size down and our hardness up a little bit. And I'm gonna paint black right below the bottom of that lid. So you can see, let's just zoom in so to show you the before and after. So here's the before and the after. So we're just, we're making it disappear from the bottom of the lid and right over top of the hair. We don't want it to be visible there. Okay, same thing here. Let's just go ahead and paint that here so it does not appear over the bottom of the lid. Okay, so we're just coloring the outer edge of the eye. Pretty cool. I think that looks great. Now let's do the same thing with this yellow color and then we're gonna be done. So 
here's our hue saturation adjustment layer for the yellow color. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Click and drag it to the new layer icon. We're going to bring that to the top as well. Okay, and you can see because we have our original layer mask in place, it is in fact coloring all of the hair. Okay, so let's click on my layer mask here. We're going to go to edit, down to fill, and we're going to go ahead and fill that with black. And then we're going to use our brush tool, paint with a large soft edge brush here on the left hand side, and just bring in some of that nice yellow. We'll do the same thing with this other eye as well. I love the colorize feature, it's so cool. You really can do some great effects, especially for images like this that, you know, they kind of, <laughs> in this case, it kind of lends itself to adding some color into the image because we did, we started off with some, so like really nice colored hair. All right, that looks great. And I think this blue here, we're just going to fade this away just a little bit. So let's choose our uh, soft brush here and I'm going to paint with black. There we go. Just right over here. We're going to have this just be visible towards the edges there. All right, and I'm using a flow of 40% here. So it just, it kind of puts it in really nice and softly. It, it, it doesn't do too harsh of an effect. If my flow was at 100%, okay, and I painted white, it would just look like that, right? But a flow down with like 20, 30, 40%, it's just going to like, you can see it just kind of like barely puts it in there and you kind of have to work your way up on that. All right, cool. And I think that looks great. So let's go ahead and show you guys the before and the after. Here's our before and the after. All right, guys, and that's all there is to colorizing your images in Photoshop. If you want to do this yourself, just follow these key steps. First, start off by making a selection around the area you'd like to colorize. I suggest going to select and down to color range. Now you want to choose a fuzziness that's going to select mostly the area you want to select, but if some of the background is selected, that's okay too. After making your selection, go to layer, down to adjustment layer, and go to hue saturation. Now it's going to load your selection automatically onto the layer mask. To edit your layer mask, hold alt or option and click on your layer mask. In this example, we use our brush tool set to an overlay blend mode. That allowed us to paint white over the light areas and dark over the darker areas. It keeps the whites and the darks separate. Once you have an accurate selection, it's time to hit colorize in the hue saturation adjustment properties window. This way you can color one color into any color you can imagine. We also showed you how to effectively use two layer masks on one layer by grouping the layer with itself and then adding a layer mask to that group. That's what allowed us to color just the bottom of the hair and then with a duplicate, just the top of the hair. We use the same principle to color the eyes as well, bringing in some of the blue and the yellow into the eyes, making it look like both the hair and the eyes fade with the same color range. And that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you had fun learning how to colorize in Photoshop. You can use this exact technique to color just about anything in a photo. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, please leave it in the comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. All right. Good job. You did it. <laughs> Any objects in Photoshop. With our layer mask. All right. So do. Cool.